welcome to our video series, Before You Tie the Knot. In this series, we look at stories with fictional characters to help illustrate concepts that are important for developing healthy and successful relationships. In today's episode, we're going to learn from a couple that's been married 60 years, the secrets to having a long-lasting, healthy and satisfying relationship. At a dinner celebrating their 60th wedding anniversary, Leila and Malik described themselves as spiritual partners. He identified one key to their success was doing many activities together, such as praying tarawih or the night prayers during Ramadan and going to the masjid together. He described Leila as his anchor, saying she could calm him down when he was angry simply by touching his face gently. She said the trick in their relationship was that they continued to treat each other as they did when they first fell in love. Throughout their relationship, they surprised each other with gifts and nice gestures. They tried to be mindful of each other and attuned to each other's emotional needs, and they responded to each other with unconditional love. So when we hear the story of Leila and Malik, it's something that everybody would want to have, right? But a lot of people nowadays, as they see uh, couples ending in divorce all around them, a lot of people ask themselves, why should I even bother to get married? Or how am I going to like manage to keep my marriage on track when all these other people, my friends and relatives, are having divorces, sometimes even within a year or two or a few months of their marriage. And so we can learn a lot from this couple. It is a really inspiring story, right? We would all want to have that. Um, and so it's, it's nice to have a couple share. And I think what's important, what I learned from them is you know, how they framed their relationship as a spiritual partnership. And so they were very mindful of their role here on this earth, which Allah describes that he says that he created uh, the jinn and, the, uh, and humankind to worship him. And so everything that we do is part of worshiping Allah. And if we look at our marriage as a vehicle towards worshiping him and to uh, strengthening our, our relationship with God, then it kind of helps us throughout the relationship to do those things like remembering to take care of each other and not taking each other for granted, um, engaging with one another. If one person like Maddox said when he got angry, she would sort of just gently remind him and kind of she learned that she could calm him down just by touching his face. So they're kind of helping each other, supporting each other, all of that within the spiritual framework, which I think helps us to have the really, really big picture focus rather than get bogged down by the daily things that we can get annoyed by and the things that we can get irritated by. And so when we're able to look at that big picture, that ultimately our, our marriage is a vehicle for pleasing Allah and that by getting married, we're actually fulfilling the sunnah and doing, you know, if we're able to, uh, to live in a relationship that's legitimized uh, by the Qur'an um, as a marital union, we know that everything that we do in that marriage for our spouse is being recorded by God, it's being um, put in our scale for the, for the Akhira, for the Day of Judgment, and so that's a great way to motivate us. And then we can see that it actually works, right? So we have this couple celebrating their 60th wedding anniversary together and reflecting back and sharing with us. And so, you know, there is a, there is a dua uh, in the Qur'an that we can all say, which is, رَبَّنَا هَبْ لَنَا مِنْ أَزْوَاجِنَا وَذُرِّيَّاتِنَا قُرَّةَ آيُنْ وَجَعَلَنَا الْمُتَّقِينَ إِمَامًا Which is really asking God to make our spouses and our offspring a comfort to our eyes and to allow us to be uh, leaders for the righteous. Thank you, Sister Salma, uh, for your great expertise in, in this issue of counseling and, and addressing the issue of marriage. Uh, I just would like to add that a couple who think very positively about one another and always see the best on one another tend to have more healthier, happier marriage. And I have seen couples like that. I have seen people in their 60s uh, and actually visited a couple that I thought Maria just got married yesterday. They've been married like for 30 years, and they treat each other with gentleness, the word they use to describe each other, and I have seen them also, I traveled with them. For you can, you can 
really renew your feeling about your spouse when you think positive about them. Uh, don't dwell on the on shortcoming. No one is perfect. All of us have our own uh, troubles and problems and shortcomings and those kind of things. Therefore, when, also when people understand the language of one another, uh, even nonverbal communication, that is really where the marriage flourish. And therefore, the touch, the look, and think about the other person need even before they express it. See what the other person like and give them more of that. That will really make their feeling uh, of love grow in their heart and become like a flower. They open up. And, and no matter how long you've been married, yeah, always, many ways, to renew this beautiful feeling of marriage. And I can say many, many honeymoons you can create. My God bless your marriages. This Dean TV video was made possible in part by Islamic Relief, working together for a better world, and by Guidance Residential, the number one Islamic home financer in the U.S.